What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. If you guys haven't seen recently, the JVCs have been absolutely dominating every single shootout against Sony in 2022. And guess what, guys? We have them in stock. All models from the NP5 all the way up to the NZ9, also known as the RS1100 all the way up to the RS4100. We have these puppies in stock and ready to ship. So today we are gonna give you the lowdown on what makes these JVC projectors industry leading. Let's go! What we're best known for, DILA. So this is the DLA RS1100. This is our 1900 lumen DILA projector. This is a full featured projector, but most importantly, picture quality. And there's two things that JVC talks about. We use DILA imaging chips. We have three of them inside this projector, one for the red, one for the green, one for the blue. But what DILA does that's different is better black level and better contrast. If you're watching a movie, any movie, there's daytime scenes, there's nighttime scenes. It's those nighttime scenes where JVC really, really shines. And where you see the detail, you see the contrast, you see things that no other projector can properly reproduce. The other thing we have is dynamic tone mapping. We call it frame adapt HDR. So we measure that HDR signal. Usually we're talking 4K, HDR, we measure it either scene by scene or frame by frame. We know how to then adjust the picture so that every frame of video is perfect and this is done automatically in the background. So there's nothing that the customer has to do. We also have an automatic picture mode select. So if it's not HDR, we know that. We'll set the right SDR picture mode. If it's 3D, we know that. We'll put it into the right 3D picture mode. There's also a format called Hybrid Log Gamma. If it supports that, we switch to that automatically. And there's something called HDR10+, Plus, which is another kind of dynamic tone mapping. And again, automatically we will switch to that. This has a 2X motorized zoom, so this projector is ideal for customers that have ultra wide screen. You can set up 10 installation modes for different aspect ratios. Uh, some people know this as a lens memory. We do the focus, the zoom, the shift, but we also do pixel alignment. We also do any settings you might be using for masking. We also do, if you choose to use an anamorphic lens, you don't have to, but you can. And, and that's part of the installation mode as well. So we completely automate the process of going from 16 by nine to ultra wide screen. That's the DLA RS 1100. This is a 1900 lumen lamp based projector. Don't worry about the fact that it's a lamp based projector. The lamp is rated for 4,500 hours in standard mode, 3,500 hours in high mode. When that lamp finally ages to the point where you want to replace it, you put in a brand new lamp and you're at full power. Now, if you decide you would like laser, we have a very similar projector over here. So this is the DLA RS2100. Now, this is 2200 lumens. This is laser. This adds an 8K input. So let's talk about that. All of the DILA projectors have the newest HDMI specification and they can handle a signal up to 48 gigabits per second. That means we support 4K 120 on the DLA RS 1100 and here we support both 4K 120 and 8K at 60 frames per second. This also uses 8K E-Shift which doubles the uh, speed that the projector operates at. So for every frame of video, it flashes the screen twice. Uh, so you have 17 million effective pixels from that 8K signal. This is a fantastic projector. Next up, we go to the RS3100. Now the RS3100, lots of little improvements. Uh, we go to 8K E-Shift X. So remember I told you this flashes the screen twice for 8K, this flashes the screen four times, so you're getting 35 million pixels. This has our high contrast optical block, 
This goes to 2,500 lumens. This adds a second iris in the optical block for improved contrast. This adds the option of a uh, cinema filter for wider color gamut. So nice upgrades in resolution, brightness, contrast, and color with the RS3100. Then we go to the RS4100. So this is our 3000 lumen laser projector. You can see it's also got a larger lens. That larger lens lets more light out from inside the projector to hit your screen. Uh, this is also our sharpest lens, our highest resolution. This has our most accurate mechanism. Remember we talked about lens memory with the installation modes for ultra wide and 16 by nine. This mechanism has four times the accuracy of this. And this is very good, but this is four times better. Okay, on top of that, this has a little wider shift range and a slightly different throw range. You can get a little bit closer to the screen or you can get a little bit larger picture from the same distance with this projector. So, um, better lens, 3,000 lumens, and uh, we're using this in our demo with a 165 inch screen and it is stunning. So on all four of the DILA projectors, we have a firmware update. So um, JVC has quite a history of this. The first thing we're doing is we're adding filmmaker mode. Filmmaker mode is for 4K HDR, it's also for SDR. The idea is it's a simple preset that gives you as close to the director's intent as we possibly can. What some people don't know is that uh, the filmmaker mode works in conjunction with our frame adapt HDR. So you like, for example, you will still see the menu setting to choose between scene by scene and frame by frame dynamic tone mapping. The tone mapping is coming from our frame adapt HDR, but it's being used in conjunction with the filmmaker mode. We've also listened to customer feedback. People said they want the option for even a little brighter picture with HDR. So we've added an auto wide mode for the frame adapt HDR. But if you like the mode, the way, if you like your projector the way it is, that original mode is still there. That's the auto mode. But now we've got auto wide, okay? And dynamic dimming. So we can make that laser we can regulate the brightness of the laser to improve our contrast. Um, again, we got some feedback. People wanted a little different approach on dimming, and so we've added that. So we didn't get rid of anything. If you like the way your projector works now, it's still gonna work that way. Now, you've got a third dimming mode to preserve more of the highlights and still give you the complete fade to black. Um, also going back to Frame Adapt HDR, we used to just have one memory for Frame Adapt HDR. Now we have three, plus we got this uh, Filmmaker mode, which is also HDR, so really four HDR presets. So maybe you want to watch the NFL in 4K HDR, but you can have some lights on in the room. That's one preset. Maybe you want to watch movies, nighttime, lights out, whatever. That's a different preset. So now you can set that up if you would like to as well. So, and there's a bunch of other smaller improvements. There you go. And no charge to the customer. All right, guys, that is a wrap on our JVC 4K 8K projector run through. Again, guys, we have all of these units in stock, ready to ship nationwide. And if you don't know what you need, reach out and speak with my specialist. We are on standby, ready to FaceTime, Zoom with you, walk through your space, and create a package that fits your exact needs and budget. Not only do we ship throughout the entire country, but we have a preferred installer network in over 26 states that can help you get it put in as well. All right, guys, well, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.